Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to be reading the book, The Story of the Little Mole Who Knew It Was None of His Business, by Werner Holtzforst. So, <clears throat> one day, the little mole poked his head out from underground to see whether the sun had already risen. Then, it happened. It looked like a little sausage, and the worst thing was that it landed right on his head. How mean, cried the little mole. Who has done this on my head? But he was so short-slighted that he couldn't see anyone around. Did you do this on my head? he asked a dove who was flying past. Me? No, how could I? I do it like this, she answered. And splish splish, a moist white blob landed on the ground right next to the little mole. His right leg was splashed with white. Did you do this on my head? He asked the horse, who was grazing in the pasture. Me? No, how could I? I do it like this. And flub pump, five big fat horsey apples plopped down with a hairy breath of the mole. He was very impressed. Did you do this on my head? He asked the hare. Me? No. How could I? I do it like this, answered the hare. And rat-a-tat-tat, fifteen little round beans shot past the mole's ears. He saved himself with a daring leap. Did you do this on my head? He asked the goat, who had been daydreaming a little. Me? No. How could I? I do it like this, she replied. And plipty plop, a pile of toffee coloured little balls tumbled on the grass. The little mole found them almost appealing. Did you do this on my head? he asked the cow, who was chewing the cud. Me? No. How could I? I do it like this. And kaplosh, a big brownish green pancake, flopped into the grass just next to the mole. He was very relieved that it hadn't been the cow who had done something on his head. Did you do this on my head? He asked the pig. <sighs> Me? No. How could I? I do it like this, <sighs> replied the pig. And plop splat, a little black, a little soft brown pile fell on the grass. The mole held his nose. Did you do this on my... He was going to ask again, but... As he came closer, he saw only two big black flies, and they were eating. At last, someone who will be able to help me, thought the mole. Who did this on my head? he asked excitingly. The nice and still buzz the flies. There was a short pause, and then, It is clear to us that it was a dog. Finally, the mole knew who had done his business on the head, on his head. Basil, the butcher's dog. Quick as a flash, he climbed on the, ba the ba he climbed onto Basil's kennel, and pling, a tiny black sausage landed right on top of the dog's head. Satisfied at last, the mo little mole disappeared happily into his underground hole. Actually, so just a thought on that. Um, I feel just after reading a um, children's book, I feel immediately that um, obviously you put a lot of different character in it. Um, you, I mean, that first read through I just did of it, um, I tried to obviously do as many different voices as possible. And I, I, I think some of them were probably the same, but um, I tried to do different accents here and there, just because with using the voice for reading a children's book, I feel like you'd have to really, because you, you're drawing in the, the child's, you know, attention, because children can really, you know, get distracted quite easily, so you've got to bring them in by doing different voices. But um, 
as I go on to read um, an adult's book now, um, we will see what the differences are. So I'll do that in a separate video though. So yes.